morning or good mid morning and welcome to our uh, kindergarten <laughs> blah, 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 kindergarten YouTube channel for our wonderful online kindergarten experience. Hopefully you're having a good time like I am and that you are ready to listen to another story. Uh, I haven't done a theme song actually. I need to think of something. We'll just stick with our welcome, 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 welcome to kindergarten online. I just wanted to say welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> Today we are going to be reading a classic. This story is called If You Take a Mouse to School. So that is the title of our book. The title is the name of the book and it tells us what the story is about. That's right. So put your thinking caps on one time and we're gonna make a prediction. A prediction means you're gonna tell me what you think is going to happen in our story. So if we look at the title and if we look at the artwork on the cover page, that can give us some clues. So if it's called, if I you take a mouse to school and I see a mouse and I see a lunchbox, I'm going to predict that this story is about taking a mouse to school. Look at that. Sometimes the titles help tell us what the story's about. Isn't that great? I mean like exactly what it's about. Possibly. We don't know yet. That's a prediction. Possibly. All right. Written by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. So the author writes the story and the illustrator draws the pictures. Yay! Isn't that so wonderful? Yes, and then another thing that we can talk about is uh, these big fancy college words called fiction and nonfiction. If something is nonfiction, it means that it can happen in real life. It's a realistic story. Um, usually you can tell because the the cover or the the pictures inside will it's like somebody took it with a camera somebody took the pictures they didn't draw them usually that's a big hint if it's a nonfiction story or fiction is like fantasy fake not real couldn't really happen in real life so like I mean maybe you could take a mouse to school I hope not like I don't want any mice in here dogs I mean that would be great I love dogs but we're not allowed to do that so we can't but wouldn't that be great but I think, so maybe you could take a mouse to school, but you, are you gonna see a mouse wearing overalls or pants? No, that's ridiculous. That is so silly. So I'm going to say that I think this is a fiction story because it's a fantasy story, right? Okay. <clears throat> if you take a mouse to school. Here's your title page. Look at he's even in his little pajamas, possibly, we hope. If you take a mouse to school, he'll ask you for your lunchbox. Ooh, what a yummy lunch. They're making peanut butter and jelly and taking some cookies. When you give him your lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich. And a snack for later. Then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. This is quite a needy mouse, am I right? He sure needs a lot of things. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. So there he is packing things in the lunchbox, the notebook, the pencils, the cookies. And now he's going for a ride in the backpack. Looks like fun time. When you get to school, he'll put his things in your locker and take a look around. Can anybody see the mouse? Can you find him? Where could he be? Ah, there he is. It's a little tricky. Oh, look at these cute plants. That looks really nice. I love plants. They're just liven up the space. He might do a little math and spell a word or two. He'll even try a science experiment. 
Um, I don't know about you, but that math looks really hard. Not like just because it's we're in kindergarten, but like that math is even hard for like a lot, myself included, of uh, hard for grown-ups. And then those words, onomatopoeia, precocious, adrenaline, insidious, like those are some big fancy words. Wow, what a smart mouse. Then he'll need to wash up. You'll have to take him to the bathroom. Once he's nice and clean. That's one messy mouse. Whoa, oh my goodness. Oh dear, that was unexpected. Look, all these kids are trying to peek and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. My mouse friend is trying to wash his clothes. He's indecent. <laughs> Oh dear, he's indecent. <laughs> he'll be ready for his lunch. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks and he'll build a little mouse house. Aw, fun. I don't think that's a little mouse house. That looks like a pretty big mouse house. And make some furniture out of clay. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own, so he'll need a lot of paper. Look at that guy. A fancy little mouse house. And look, he has a cute little, cute little plants too. How do you find those small plants? He'll probably use up, he'll probably use up all of your pencils. When he's finished, he'll want to read his book to you. And his book is called Good Night Mouse by Mouse. Like written by Mouse, not like goodbye. Then he'll want to take it home. So he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. And when the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. Then he'll ask you, then he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. And do a little skateboarding. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat a snack. So he'll ask you for your lunchbox and chances are if he asks you for your lunchbox you'll have to take him back to school oh that was so great Oh, so nice I love that story I again I know I love a lot of stories I just can't help myself <sighs> um okay so we are going to need our handy dandy kindergarten bag Woo! with all the things and we are going to reach inside of our bag be honest, I am not entirely sure where this paper is, but I know that I sent it. I think we decided it's not in here. No. Nope. It's hard because I have like these papers set aside and I know that I sent them home, but it's like I easily forget where I put them. So very easily. Okay, it's not, not that one. Not that one. It's not that one. One of these days. One of these days I'm gonna get it. If it's not in here, I'm gonna be like, hmm, that's 
very frustrating because that's what I was planning on doing. I know it's in here. It has to be in here. Where? I don't know. Oh, I found it. Oh, thank goodness. I was starting to get really worried. Okay. Now I have a mess over here. Anyways, you are going to grab the the clip the paper clipped group of papers that has the sorting coconuts, which I should know by now because it has the most papers in it. And it should now be your very last page, it looks like. Dun da da, -da! the lunchbox pattern. Woo! <laughs> woo woo! We found the lunchbox pattern. Okay, let me put this away really quick because that's what we do when we're done with something. We put it away so we don't lose it or it doesn't get messy or ruined, you know, destroyed, if you will. All right, so inside your Kinder bag, you are going to get out the sorting coconuts page like I just showed you. Um, packet, I should say. Paperclip packet. And look for this page, which appeared to be uh, one of the last few pages. You're also going to get out your pencil and your crayons. That's right. So the first thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pencil and write my name. Something that we have not talked about and that I need to talk about because some, like when you're in the classroom, like I remember, oh, these are the things that we need to talk about. But like, we're not in the real classroom. So sometimes I forget but we need to talk about how you hold your pencil. It is very, very, very important. Sometimes we get used to holding the pencil like this, and this is not how we hold the pencil. This is just not, it like hurts my eyes to see when we're holding our pencil like this, because that is not how we do it. Um, the way you hold your pencil is, let's see, I'm gonna try to show you, actually. So my pencil is laying down, like like so, with the uh, the point toward pointed towards me. You are going to take your pointing finger and your thumb and pinch them together because that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to pinch the pencil like that, and then lay it back like that, and that is how we hold the pencil. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. No. If you are struggling with holding your pencil or parents, you just, we need to get into the routine of holding the pencil correctly because this is something that I would constantly be correcting in the classroom, is you, you pinch it with these two fingers and lay it back, just like that. And then we can write our name. Mrs. Weber. Sorry, that looked messy. Oh, no, you're okay. And then, um, and then, Okay, we're ready to get started. So I'm going to draw, our objective is to draw like what we're having for lunch or what we would have in our lunch box. Just like the mouse, he had peanut butter and jelly and he had cookies. So I'm going to draw my lunch essentially. And I'm going to do my best because I am by no means an artist. So let's see. I'm gonna start with, I think, a sandwich. So this is like my sandwich, you know? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. Well, um, so, <laughs> you guys, I <laughs> had like the iPad down because I was recording and drawing and coloring and not even like I was trying to be fancy and like time lapse or anything like I was coloring and drawing this entire time and giving you such quality content like I had so many good things to say and talk about this whole time without realizing that the iPad stopped recording because there was not enough storage so I did this whole thing by myself. And then I went to, <laughs> I was like, I can't believe I just did that. And then I went to record and never hit the record button. So then, yeah, essentially I did this twice. <laughs> 
Oh, technology, it's so wonderful. So I'm so sorry that you missed out on literally this wonderful masterpiece, but you saw me start the sandwich and now the whole lunchbox is done. I'm so sorry you're missing that. Good middle chunk. Basically, to wrap it up, sum it up, you're going to draw what you're having for lunch or what you would like to have for lunch. And I drew my pictures. I labeled them so you would know what they are just because I am not an artist. I'm not. I try my best. I just, when I think like, oh my gosh, I don't think I can do this, I say, I can do it. I'm going to try my best. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And then I just push through and try my best and try to do it. So this is my lunchbox. I drew a turkey sandwich, I drew an apple, some carrots, um, some grape juice, and some cookies. And I colored my lunchbox pink because I love pink. I wish there was like a glitter crayon I could use, but I don't have any on me. And then I also talked about like, wouldn't it be so great if there was like a rose gold crayon because I love rose gold, but there's not. And, nothing recorded <laughs> so friends i'm so sorry that you missed out on this that's life i guess the wonderful world of technology <sighs> but at least you were able to listen to the story see me start the drawing and then see me with the finished work of art um so your job so you sorry my job my turn your turn my job is to draw and color what you're having for lunch oh, sorry what i'm having for lunch but what like you're having but if you're repeating me you're saying what i'm having oh man <laughs> i just still can't believe i did that oh <laughs> Have a wonderful day. I hope you have fun on your assignment that you don't get to see. <laughs> Take a picture and post it on Seesaw for me. If your Seesaw is not working, the district has given us a few solutions. So if your Seesaw is not working and you can't take a picture and post on Seesaw, try updating the app. If the app is already updated, try updating the iPad. And do this during times that they're not using their iPad because um, it will take a while. I think it said it takes like up to an hour. And then if that still doesn't work, try resetting the iPad. Uh, sometimes it just needs that. And if it still won't let you post a Seesaw, you might have to come to like a school campus, a Tempe school, so you can be on like our Tempe server. So even if you're like in the school parking lot, it should work. Um, and try to troubleshoot it from a school, a Tempe location to be on the server and see if that works. Uh, but yeah, so try to post it on Seesaw if you can instead of Dojo. And I am, again, I apologize for this technical difficulty is what we're going to call that. Uh, have fun drawing your lunch. I can't wait to see what you're having for lunch, what you want to have for lunch. You could even record a little story and say, today for lunch I'm having, and tell me all about it, because I love watching those and listening to those. Okay, well, <laughs> I hope your day goes smoother than this video. All right, thanks so much for following along and for joining us, joining me on this, one, the wonderful worlds, the wonderful world of kindergarten technology and virtual learning. Okay, thank you so much for watching and for being patient with me. Okay, deep breaths. <sighs> okay, I'll see you later. Bye.